Hello, I'm John Baker. Welcome to GPCA TV. I'm here in Dubai at the 13th annual GPCA forum, and I'm talking to Fritjof Netzer, the Chief Digital Officer at BASF. Okay, well, thank you for joining us today on GPCA TV. You were involved in the masterclass on digitization um, at the forum. Could you just explain what that is and why it's important to the chemical industry? Thank you, John, for having me. In uh, the masterclass, we discussed what digitalization really means. So definition-wise, what sets it apart from automation, which is very well known in the process industry, is the fact that we use data at the very core and then work with the data at the very core of technologies like digital business models, so manufacturing solutions, supply chain, uh, but also even R&D based on a more analytic and a more a targeted way of exploiting the data that we have. And is this something that's being embraced at the moment or is it something that people should be looking at? I think we've, we've been seeing quite a frenzy in terms of dealing with digitalization over the past few years. Uh, personally at BSF we started the uh, movement in that direction back in 2015 when we incubated a uh, topic that we call BSF 4.0. And this was kind of symbolic for quite a broad approach that would include supply chain, the manufacturing area, the business interface, but then also innovation and all the necessary enablement topics like how do we deal with data today, how we want to deal with data in the future. Um, the second enablement is of course IT, so how do we define the relationship with the traditional IT division. And then thirdly, of course, how do we actually go about our workforce to embrace change that is necessary. Uh, to be able to, to skill up, to requalify, and then to get immersed in some of the digital applications and solutions. Yes, I wanted to ask how it fitted in with the traditional IT and CIO functions in a company. Um, is it just part of the IT or is it a business matter more? I think the way we organized it is in the very beginning when we started to incubate it and up to today, we had it report directly to the CEO, so we kept it on purpose outside of the regular IT, IS environment. But of course, digitalization can never achieve the goals and all the productivity gains and the growth targets without having a very close relationship with the IT, IS legacy division. So you want to create a relationship that is based on knowing where to go and then translating that into technical solutions on the back end, which we call the IT backbone. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if people do this properly, um, what are the benefits and what sort of financial benefits can there be? So I think when you talk digitalization, we need to acknowledge the fact that digitalization is a means to an end. And in this case, the end is something that all the business people are very familiar with. So in a way, it's, it's making it easy for us. So the first thing I always highlight is we want to create a more exciting customer experience. So the way how we experience life in private is something we want to also create in terms of functionality, convenience, user intuition when you operate um, solutions on the web. We want that, what we see in private, also to happen and function in the professional world. So creating exciting customer experiences is one topic. With that, we will typically also strengthen the customer satisfaction. The second topic is growth. So if you do a good job with your customer, typically growth will follow in suite. The third topic is efficiencies and safety, which is immensely important for the chemical industry, of course. And finally, I mean, what advice would you give to executives who are really just starting down this road in the chemical sector? I think a combination of things. One, go with those leaders in your company that have shown courage, but also a, a mindset that would embrace change uh, and a people orientation in order to lead the movement. The second advice I would hold is, inside your workforce you will already today see a lot of talents that will help you to translate the digitalization into actual measures. So requalifying people to do the job, um, encouraging them, engaging them by sharing positive examples of where digitalization has already made an impact, that's going to be key to lead the motion. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, John. Appreciate it.